now let's look at how we can add more than two vectors together. Here we have three vectors, A, B, and C. We can start by adding any two of the vectors. Here we add vectors A and B by joining the tail of A to the head of B. The resultant of these is obtained by joining the tail of B to the head of A. We shall call this resultant D. Now we need to add C to D. This time we move D across so that its tail meets the head of C. The final or overall resultant vector is then R as shown. It doesn't matter which order we add the vectors in, we still end up with the same final resultant. Here we start by adding B and C. Again moving B so that its tail joins the head of C. This gives us the resultant of these two, which we shall call E. Now we add E and A, which gives us the vector R again. In terms of vector algebra, we can write this as A plus B plus C, is equal to A plus B plus C.